All right. Since we have to talk about the Jets every single week, uh, we will. Of course, this week they get to play the Chiefs. Yay! Uh, Vegas is like, ooh, let's give the Chiefs a 19 and a half point spread. My goodness. 49 point over under, giving us an implied point total of about 34 to 14. And that might be generous for the Jets. Like, man, this team has just been absolute grossness all across the board. And it's just a shock at this point that Adam Gase still has his job. You have to assume that he has some kind of compromising photos of the general manager, or maybe it's just the simple fact that as long as Adam Gase is employed there, the scrutiny and the uh, media pundits and everyone can get upset at Adam Gase instead of the GM. And that's just a good way for them to duck some of the criticism for now. But that being said, as long as Adam Gase is here and as long as this Jets team continues to play the way that they have been, there's absolutely no way we're going to be trusting them in any way, shape or form. Whereas the Chiefs, you know, we just saw their defense took a pretty big step forward playing against the Broncos last week. There could This could end up being a pretty upsetting day for fantasy if the game script goes anywhere near like it did last week. I mean, the Chiefs offense barely had to do anything. The one ray of hope here is, I mean, the Broncos have a pretty decent defense. They got a lot healthier last week with Bouye coming back. So I do think that the uh, Chiefs should be able to put up some more points for fantasy on offense here. But we could still get another situation where we see Chad Henney come in and Patrick Mahomes sit out the whole fourth quarter. If they're up by like 30 points in the third quarter, that wouldn't surprise me in the least. So just bear that in mind. Definitely temper your expectations. But I do think we're starting all of the main guys for the Chiefs. I'm never going to really recommend benching uh, Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, or Travis Kelsey. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is the one concern for me. And as I'm saying this, I, I already know like if we're going to go game, if we're going to go like take, take out numbers, take out anything else and just talk about narrative, you got to play Le'Veon Bell. If we're just talking narrative and you want to feel, you know, play, play the feelings game versus the numbers game, which I don't recommend you do very often, but narrative is a thing that does actually impact. If we're talking revenge game narrative, Le'Veon Bell getting to play against the Jets, This could be an absolute dominant week for Le'Veon Bell. Now, last week, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire and Le'Veon Bell split touches. Uh, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire saw the majority of the opportunity in both the uh, run and the pass game. Bell looked pretty solid. Obviously, Clyde ended up getting it done on on the ground, uh, finally getting into the end zone. I guess you can start both of them. I have Clyde Edwards-Hilaire ranked a lot higher than Le'Veon Bell, but... It would be really hard if I had Le'Veon Bell on my team. It would be really hard for me to bench him against the Jets. So ignore the fact that I have him here on my second chance. I guess I talked myself into the narrative street. And if he sucks, I'm sorry. But I think you can start all these guys with confidence here, especially the Chiefs defense. Absolutely need to start them. Now, I'm not really excited about any of the other pieces here. Watkins most likely out again this week. Miko Hardman has been a very uh, big disappointment in terms of consistent fantasy production. And if the Chiefs aren't needing to score a lot, you don't really expect a lot from either him or Robinson. So basically only sticking with the main starting options here. On the Jets side, I can't I can't trust anyone. Jamison Crowder likely out again this week. Yes, we did see LaMichael Pirine have a decent day on the ground last week. But if he doesn't score, that's not a good day for you. And I don't really know who's going to score in this one. Denzel Mims had the majority of targets last week and he looked decent. I think he'll, they'll continue to get him involved a bit more, but the Chiefs secondary is very dominant. So I don't know that you can really trust him in this one. Perriman could likely be out in this game. Braxton Berrios, not very good. This is just not, it's not a game that you really want anyone on the Jets side of the ball. I think the Chiefs cover their spread. I've got them winning 34 to 10. And as I mentioned, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we saw Chad Henney play the entirety of the fourth quarter. Yeah.